Dows or Dopplers on wheels have played a critical role in weather research for years. Built for mobility, they can chase down a storm and scan directly into its heart at close range. It's very exciting technology, targeting and studying different weather all around the country and the world. The key to that mobility is size. A smaller antenna mounted to a truck can be ready to scan a storm in minutes, but a smaller antenna means a shorter energy beam. Well, the longer the wavelength of radar data, the better uh, you can penetrate through a severe storm. Josh Werman runs the Center for Severe Weather Research in Boulder, Colorado. They have created a new system with a larger antenna, but they believe it can still be mobile. The beam's wavelength is now nearly double the size. It's a C-band radar, so instead of a dial, they're calling it the cow. And this is the first radar of its kind. We're testing it out to see how quickly we can set it up. The new cow is getting its first test in Argentina, where scientists are studying some of the most intense storms on the planet. We basically finished this radar 18 hours before we had to drive it to the port and ship it. Unlike the smaller dows, this C-band beast requires some assembly, and it doesn't move once it's set up. So we basically have a, a bunch of uh, scientists like myself and students. We basically lift the pieces of the antenna off the truck, and they weigh a couple hundred pounds and we laid them out in a farmer's field on a ring of cinder blocks. Their first attempt at setting it up took about five hours, but they think with practice they can get it down to about two hours. In Argentina, with some of the world's most powerful storms bearing down on them, forecasting becomes even more important. Um, in fact, our new radar got a bunch of dents on it the first day we put it up. Um, just from big hail hitting it, so maybe we put it in too good a location. Scientists are already raving about the data coming from this new radar, and Werman is receiving requests for future projects back home in the U.S. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.